Hello, welcome. We are looking at the third module where we estimate credit card interest. And the idea is that you have a credit card and its interest rate per year, its annual percentage rate is 39%, and you have this bill to pay. That's your bill. You make a minimum payment of $368. So in this case, you pay that amount and you avoid some late fees and other things, but you still have interest on your remaining balance. So before we go further, let's just find that remaining balance. Let's subtract out the minimum payment and see what's left over. Let's see what we owe them. So it's 38.52 minus 368 and we still owe 34.84. So we still owe quite a bit. And this remaining balance right here, we're still going to owe interest on this remaining balance. So this remaining balance still needs to be paid and there's still interest building on that amount. How much interest? Well, it's built, it's based on the APR. So we do remaining balance 34.84 times this 39%, you divide it by 100. So you take 39%, which really equals 39 over 100, which is equal to 0.39. That's our that's our interest uh, rate expressed as a decimal. And we divide it, well, later on in the problem, and we'll read this in a moment, but we're assuming there's 360 days in a billing year. Usually it's 360 or 365, but credit cards have different exact calculations that they're using. So you take that yearly interest rate as a decimal and divide it among the 360 days. And this is called your daily periodic rate periodic rate. And then we that is our interest on our remaining balance every day in the billing cycle. And it says here on the 16th day of the next 30-day billing cycle, I have to fix that spacing right there, uh, but it says on the 16th day we pay some more off. We pay uh, 1742. So that means on the 16th day we're doing something different, but this interest rate still sticks for how long? Well, it sticks for the first 15 days of our billing cycle. So for 15 days, this is what our interest is doing. Then we pay some more off. So it's going to be 34.84. That was our remaining balance. And we pay off 17.42. This is going to lower our interest for the next 15 days. So we multiply it by the yearly APR to decimal, divided by 360. That's still our daily periodic rate and then multiply it by 15 because there are still 15 days left in the billing cycle. And this is an estimate because this is called simple interest. And really credit cards are compounding this, but it gives us a fairly good approximation over the course of um, a billing cycle. So 34.84 times 0.39 divided by 360 times 15 plus, now I'm going to need parentheses here, 3484 minus 1742, close parentheses, and then times the same thing, 0.39 divided by 360 times 15, enter, 84.9225. All right, so here they say on the 16th day of the next 30-day uh, billing cycle, you pay this. What would the monthly interest charge equal? Okay, we found that. Round your answer to the nearest whole number. Okay, and we did that. We assumed that the cars has 360 days in the billing year, so it would be $85. Let's see if we can get that right. Yep, got it. And here are the steps worked out in a different way. So check those examples and see if that helps you. Thanks.